Hey guys, Realistic Gaming here, and I want to give a huge shout out to Jazzwares for sponsoring this video and for sending me this awesome Roblox playset based on in game memes from Roblox itself, which is pretty awesome. And it does come with a lot of pieces, as we can see. It comes about with about 26 pieces, I believe. 20 are accessories, and then the rest, remaining six, are figures from the game, or personas, or characters from Roblox, whatever you want to call it, and also a collector's checklist for those roblox toy collectors out there and also this exact toy set is available on amazon i will be leaving the link in the description for you guys to check it out because i know i would want this thing for christmas per se as the holidays are around the corner this would be an awesome present i don't know man if you love roblox you would definitely love this because just look at all these awesome things in here it has a buff noob despacito spider it has sakura which is an admin from roblox oh yeah and by the way it does come with a uh, exclusive virtual code for you to redeem wow. that will gift you a buff noob avatar in roblox okay so let's go ahead and open this box oh my god there's a lot of accessories here as we can tell wow look at that and look at this background it's like a mayhem destroyed city i don't know it's pure chaos in there from all these memes inside just look at this we got the giant buff noob let's take this out all right so i did go ahead and take the accessories and the figures out of the box just so i can display them so you guys can get an image of how they look and they are pretty nice they're pretty sturdy and uh you can mix and match all of them which is pretty awesome because you do have all these um random accessories you can put on them or take off or customize the toy however you want okay so i don't know about you guys but i'm very eager and excited to redeem my virtual code to get my buff noob avatar so you guys better not look look away right now because i'm gonna redeem my code as we speak all right let's go ahead and click redeem now and oh not this verification Ooh. all right and here we go successfully redeemed yes you have now successfully redeemed buff noob bundle from roblox all right let's go view the item now and here it is voila wow this thing looks amazing so let's go ahead and equip it to my avatar real quick here we go we got the whole set going on the buff noob set and now let's go ahead and join mega noob simulator which is where this meme was originally created by thunder 1222 productions and let's go ahead and join it let's see how it actually looks in game i'm not sure if it will work or not but let's uh try it out Oh, and that clearly does not look like the giant buff noob I was supposed to be. I guess it's because I haven't really played this game. As per se, I'm not buff as we were supposed to be lucky. Oh my god, dude. That is one giant buff noob. Alright, let's go ahead and join another match so uh, we can get the actual avatar. Alright, so I went ahead and I joined Natural Disaster just so we can get an image of our avatar. And dude, this thing is so like hilarious. Like It looks pretty funny, man. He is kind of short looking. I expected him to be a bit taller since he is pretty buff. But, I mean, overall, this is pretty neat. Um, it's pretty awesome that they managed to make an actual life-size little action figure of this guy. From, <laughs> from which he was created in Roblox and brought to real life. Oh, look, there's a chicken. And as we all know, the famous Despacito spider, which blew up on Roblox in high school. And then uh, it kind of blew up on memes itself. Which were posted on subreddit, twitter, all that stuff, social media. So basically the spider is made out of a big head on top of a bigger head. That is the, the they're like the same size and it's just at the bottom side. It's completely turned around looking the opposite direction from the big head on top. And as we all know for the Egg Hunt 2020 Roblox event, they did bring out a Despacito Egg. Which is called Despacito Egg. <laughs> as we can see here, it is exactly the same but it's just like... It looked exactly like a spider and you did have to complete some tasks in roblox in high school in order to unlock this egg and have it as a hat and not only that also terabyte did bring out a hat herself which also resembles the despacito spider egg as we see here it looks pretty spot on i'm pretty sure i have this bad boy I mean, who wouldn't want to have this hat, right? It looks amazing. <laughs> and I did go ahead and try to replicate my own Despacito Spider in Roblox in high school. As we can see here. I don't know, man. I feel like I'm pretty spot on with my own design. Looks exactly the same as the uh, Despacito Spider itself. <gasps> as for Sork is being a mean in the Roblox community, he is an admin and uh, I believe he is currently still active to this day. And he is also known as a huge troll online in Roblox. 
And as for Sorkis himself, he did also have an egg in the 2013 Roblox egg hunt, which the egg pertained to him was named Troll Egg based on his character. And eventually the egg did hatch into like a Sorkis stool, which you can use to troll other players. So here's an image of the stool itself. I've never seen this stool or heard of it, but apparently this is what the stool looks like. It's just a basic stool. And as for continue on for Sorkis, you can find his fedora, his lightning fedora on the Roblox catalog, which is priced at 10 million Robux. Wow, that is a lot of Robux, man. And I'm not gonna lie, that thing does look pretty spicy. And as angry as this Tix fan looks like, which we should all be infuriated since the removal of tickets, aka ticks on Roblox, it has not been the same. Now, if you guys didn't know, there used to be this currency on Roblox called tickets or ticks, whatever you want to call them, which was introduced back on August 2nd, 2007. And uh, there was various ways you can earn tickets, by the way, um, just by as logging on to Roblox every day, you would earn 10 tickets and uh, I'm pretty sure that would accumulate pretty quick. And some other ways you were able to get tickets were by having people join your place, which would earn you one ticks. And another way was by selling clothing on the catalog, such as t-shirts, shirts, and pants. And then came the announcement on March 15th of 2016, Roblox had announced on the website that they were no longer going to be a uh, continuing forth with the use of ticks the reason being because uh, most new users on the website would get confused about the currency which was a uh, ticks and robux so that would confuse a lot of new users as there were two types of currency at the time so continuing odds of march roblox did announce um event called the uh, ticks of palooza which they did drop these items on the catalog that you can trade your ticks for and they look pretty neat And Tix, you will always be remembered in the Roblox community. As for this clown looking fella, aka Clown Buggy, you can find this guy cruising around in his cart in the game called Fantastic Frontier. Now I don't know how exactly this guy is a meme, but I mean, aren't all clowns supposed to be funny and hilarious? Or they can either be terrifying. I don't know, I feel like clowns behaviors are very unpredictable and you will never know fully what a clown's demeanor is. Now you can find this guy in the game, like I said in Fantastic Frontier, you can find him in specific zones of the nightmare, or yet they are commonly found in the supermarket area, occasionally encountered in the ballroom, and or in the theater lurking around. And as for our green friend here, this Velociraptor, it can be found in the game The Labyrinth made by 99 Studios. I am not also sure how he is a meme or how he's incorporated into all this meme package, but it is a nice addition to the package itself because he does look pretty futuristic or cybernetic looking as he does have like some metal plates on him or something from what it seems like. But overall it's pretty interesting. So for as most of these accessories, you can find them on the Roblox catalog, but a lot of them are pricey and they do vary on prices as we can see some are more expensive than the others and some are limited as we can see. But I mean, it's pretty cool how they took these uh, virtual items and they brought them to uh, real life. So we can physically have them as toys and uh, have experiences with them ourselves. Not just in game, but in actual real life. And that was the Roblox meme pack for you guys. If you guys are, like I said, if you guys really love Roblox, you would totally love this. Like I said, the holidays are around the corner, man. I don't know. 
I would totally ask for this <laughs> as a gift or something. All right, you guys. Well, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for the support. And I will see you guys in the next one.